So here we have the sun, a big ball of burning hydrogen gas, the earth, the troposphere, stratosphere, the ozone layer, the mesosphere and the thermosphere. Now, as a result of the burning hydrogen gas, electromagnetic sun, energy is radiated in the form of varying wavelengths. These wavelengths are short ultraviolet light, visible light, which Such humans can detect, and we see them as rainbows, longer radiation called infrared. These wavelengths and radiate hit through space. the ozone layer at the top of the stratosphere, and protect the ozone layer protects the Earth from harmful radiation. Like Most the of the UV radiation is oh, absorbed by, but some makes it through the ozone layer. The ozone layer is what absorbs most of the ultraviolet light. The other greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide, water vapour, methane, sulphur dioxide, nitrous oxide and CFCs. The visible light radiated from the sun is either absorbed by the earth or reflected back into the atmosphere. This is why you can see earth from space. So when the visible light comes in and radiates off the earth, it hits the atmosphere and begins to bounce around. Because of it. this process that the as earth is, is as well. otherwise we would be about minus 18 degrees. The industrial age has meant that emissions from burning coal oil and gas are released into the atmosphere at a much faster rate than natural. The CO2 from burning these fossil fuels builds up in our atmosphere and traps the Earth's heat, thus warming the Earth even more. This is known as the enhanced greenhouse effect. Nitrogen makes up about 71% of the atmosphere and oxygen about 28 percent. These are not greenhouse gases, they transmit electromagnetic radiation. Uh, all the greenhouse gas molecules contain at least three atoms.